Have you ever felt the need to have stimulants like coffee in order to get your day going? You wake up not really refreshed, and it's only after you take your coffee that you feel that you are up and running. This is Dr. Lam, founder of DrLam.com, and here we're going to talk about the reasons why this happens. Now, coffee is a stimulant. It is designed to kickstart the body and raise the metabolism, and that's what it does. Now, coffee is and other caffeine-type products all serve the same situation. Tea also is very similar to coffee, by the way. It's only that it has less caffeine, but about half the caffeine in black tea, for example. Well, the body usually has its own way of getting you going. First, before you get up two, three hours before, the body's cortisol level already start rising to prepare your body. Sugar is then broken down from some of the muscles and, and the blood and the storage and then being shunted into the bloodstream to the brain so that when you wake up, you can start using your brain, which requires a lot of energy. Now, when your body is not able to provide this reserve on a timely basis, you will then wake up because, for example, you have no choice. You have to go to work or you have to go to your school. But then the body is not quite ready. So that's what the stimulants do, is to get the body to the next level. While this stimulant, and like tea and coffee, helps, the problem is that they are only short term, and its effect wears out over the day. So many people will walk around with a coffee cup. They may need four, five, six coffees a day, each time only lasting one or two hours. Now, if you are healthy, young, it's not a problem. But a lot of people, if, especially if you are older or if you have a weak constitution, you can become dependent upon coffee. And coffee dependency and addiction is a very, very big problem. Coffee withdrawals, even when you try to take it away, can lead to severe headaches, for example. So obviously, the best thing is not to be on coffee. But the question is, if you are already on coffee and you know that you need it, then what it is really telling you is that this is a body that doesn't have a lot of energy left. Energy comes from a large part from your adrenal system. So the body is telling you that your adrenal is weak. A strong adrenal will be able to wake up, refreshed, get on its own, get through the day, and have no problem. Now, if you continue to take coffee for a long time, as we said earlier, there are also other ramifications. For example, coffee can lead to an increase in estrogen in women, and that can in turn lead to ex extra symptoms such as endometriosis, fibrocystic breast disease, and PMS. So coffee and its needs really points to an underlying problem. Coffee needs and coffee usage throughout the day is a symptom of a weak adrenal. So if you understand this concept, you will know that the body is crying out for help. And there are different ways. Unfortunately, most people take even more in order to sustain themselves. But this is not what the body wants. The body wants you to listen and to do things to allow it to heal itself. And the way to do it is actually not to increase coffee, but if you are already on coffee for a long time, do not stop right away because it can get worse. But you need to start thinking about how to provide the body with a set of tools for it to do its own job. That way, not only do you need, you don't need, I'm sorry, coffee, you can have natural and fresh energy. So understanding the ramification that coffee plays in the adrenal system is an important piece of the puzzle because there's so many symptoms of adrenal fatigue, and this is one important piece if you pay attention. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com, where I've written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.